The third and final section in this chapter is set theory, which is often introduced in high school. You will find set theory quite useful in solving probability problems. Let's begin with a definition. A set is a collection of objects, and those objects will be generically referred to as elements. Second definition, if an object belongs to a set, it is said to be an element of the set, which is denoted by this particular symbol right here. And whenever you see that symbol right there, it should be read as the following. Is an element of. Next definition. If every element of A1 is also an element of A2, then A1 is a subset of A2, which is denoted by A1 subset A2 or A1 subset A2. Now, the reason there are two different ways of defining this is there is not complete agreement on which symbol is appropriate. If you go to the Wikipedia site, you'll see some people use one, some people use another, some people uh, differentiate between subsets and proper subsets. So there's not a, a complete agreement out there on which is appropriate. We will use this particular one in the class. Here's a quick example. The natural numbers, which are the counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., um, are a subset of all integers. And all integers, of course, include the positives, the negatives, and zeros. And those are a subset of the rational numbers, q. And those are a subset of the real numbers, r. And those are a subset of the complex numbers, c. So if you look at this string here, you have a string of subsets from the natural numbers to the complex numbers. Finally, the last definition, a set containing no elements is called the null set, and that is denoted by the Greek letter phi. Now, on the next slide, you will see that there are Venn diagrams, and these Venn diagrams can be very, very useful in terms of sorting out the different sets. If you have a generic set A and a set B, this is typically the way you draw that Venn diagram. Sometimes they call this outside box the universal set. Now, if it just so happens that A is a subset of B, then you would draw the universal set as the box again, and you would draw A inside of B in that particular situation.